Linear regression has four assumptions. The assumptions are important because they ensure the model provides reliable and accurate results. Violation of at least one of the assumptions compromises the model's reliability. However, you can still use the linear regression in the case of a violation if you follow our instructions. The first assumption says, there should be a linear relationship between the independent variable, x, and the dependent variable, y. If the relationship isn't straight, the model's predictions will be off because it's trying to fit a straight line to a potentially curved trend. Secondly, each observation should be independent of the others. The independence of observations ensures that each data point contributes new and unique information to the estimation of the regression coefficients. The violation would lead to a biased estimate of the coefficients of the model. Thirdly, the residuals have constant variance at every level of X. It matters because if the spread of the error changes, the model's predictions might be less reliable for certain values, having more errors than others. Lastly, the residuals of the model are normally distributed. This ensures that the statistical tests used to determine the significance of the predictors are valid, leading to correct inferences. Now, what if the assumptions do not hold? Firstly, you need to understand your objective of using linear regression. If you want to approach the problem statistically, meaning you want necessarily to interpret the statistical properties of the model, then you can apply transformations to the variables. Consider alternative models, use a smaller number of predictors, or implement other remedies to mitigate the potential violations. However, if you target a good performing model and you care less about the interpretability, then in machine learning, there is a powerful technique to check the reliability and the performance of the model, called train test split. If you run a linear regression model and see that it performs well on both train and test sets, then you can probably use that model despite the violations. However, note that even with a good performing model, you still can't interpret its statistical properties if there are violations. We will refer to the train test split and how to check the assumptions of the linear regression model in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned. If you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, subscribe to our channel to be aware of the new videos. Press the like button and let's discuss AI in the comments section.